This video will cover the topic Finding the final amount in a word problem on compound interest. Let us recall the formula for compound interest. A equals P times 1 plus R divided by N all raised to the power NT. Could you elaborate what each quantity stands for? Sure. A is the final amount, P is the principal, R is the rate of interest, N is the frequency of compounding, and T is the time period. Let us consider an example. Suppose that a $2000 is loaned at a rate of 13% compounded semi annually. Assuming that no payments are made, find the amount owed in 4 years. Do not round any intermediate computations and round your answer to the nearest cent. How do we proceed with the problem? The first step is to examine the problem thoroughly to identify all the information required to solve the problem. We can see that $2000 has been loaned to a person. Hence, the principal P is $2000. Next, the amount has been loaned at 13% interest. Hence, the rate of interest R equals 13% which equals 13 divided by 100 which equals 0 0.13. Also, the term compounded semi-annually gives us a clue about the frequency of compounding. So compounded semi-annually means that the frequency of compounding in a year is 2 because interest is calculated once in every 6 months? That is right. Here, n is equal to 2. And finally, since we are required to determine the amount in 4 years, the time period t equals 4. The final step would be to substitute in the formula and determine the amount. The formula for compound interest is A is equal to P times 1 plus R divided by N all raised to the power NT. Substituting in the formula, we get A equals 2000 times 1 plus 0 0.13 divided by 2 raised to the power 2 times 4 which equals 3309.9913 Rounding off to the nearest cent, we get A equals 3309.99 dollars Okay, I think I understand the concept. In order to determine the final amount in a compound interest problem, we first gather information from the problem required to solve the problem. Finally, we substitute in the formula and determine the amount. Perfect. 